Four Gruesome Stories from the American Civil War The American Civil War stands out for its unparalleled brutality and the staggering loss of American lives. It occurred during a turbulent period in history, right after the adoption of guerrilla warfare, rifled weapons, and repeating firearms, but before the establishment of modern hygienic and medical practices, as well as the discovery of antibiotics. This unfortunate timing led to a situation where the conflict resulted in an unprecedented number of casualties, and recovery was relatively minimal. Consequently, the Civil War holds the grim distinction of claiming more American lives than any other war in the nation's history. The tales of the immense suffering caused by the war have become infamous, and along with them are stories of a paranormal legacy, adding to the eerie nature of the topic. Many chilling accounts, both real and paranormal, have emerged from this dark period in history. Below are some of these unsettling Civil War stories that are sure to leave you feeling unnerved. Number 1. The Taste for Brains During their deployment, it was customary for literate soldiers to maintain diaries, whether as personal records or as letters to their loved ones. Henry Fitzgerald Charles was among those who kept a diary, chronicling his service to the Union while serving as part of the 21st Pennsylvania Cavalry. Throughout his three stints in the war, he experienced numerous conflicts and bore witness to the horrors of the battlefield. One particular incident stands out in his writings. In his journal, Charles recounts a day when he and another soldier ventured into the woods after a battle had ceased, searching for salvage. As they rested, an unexpected and harrowing event occurred. Charles describes, Suddenly, I heard a gunshot, and at the same instant, I found myself with another man's brains in my mouth. A sharpshooter hidden somewhere in the distant woods had taken aim at us. It seems he intended to kill two of us with a single shot, but my friend's head proved tougher, it deflected the bullet. Although I might have swallowed some of the gruesome content, it quickly came back up along with everything else in my stomach. Due to his friend's resilient skull, a bullet intended for both soldiers was stopped, and Charles had an unsettling encounter with his comrade's brains. Number 2. The Devil's Den, Gettysburg. Located in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the Devil's Den is a rocky hill renowned for its labyrinthine passages that wind through numerous large boulders, leading to its name, which is believed to have originated from the association with a biblical serpent or the devil. This small hill has become the subject of a plethora of ghost stories and alleged sightings. Strangely, electronics often experience disruptions in this area, seemingly entering a dead zone without any apparent pattern or explanation. Visitors to the Devil's Den have reported witnessing the spectral presence of uniformed Union soldiers roaming through the terrain. Some have even claimed to encounter a specific soldier with a grievous chest wound, beseeching passers-by for assistance in an eerie and haunting manner. The hill's history and mysterious ambiance have contributed to the proliferation of these chilling tales, capturing the imaginations of those who dare to explore its enigmatic grounds. Supposing that ghosts do exist, Devil's Den would undoubtedly be a natural place for them to inhabit. This hill served as a battlefield during the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg, making it a significant location in the bloodiest battle of the entire Civil War, which, in turn, holds the somber distinction of being the most devastating conflict in American history. 3. The Dream of John C. Calhoun John Calhoun, an American politician renowned for his role as vice president under both John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson, earned the moniker, Cast Iron Man, due to his unwavering and staunch support of Southern customs and beliefs, which included slavery and white supremacy. Several years prior to the Civil War, Calhoun was devising a plan for the South to secede from the Union when he had a haunting dream that left a profound impact on him. In his dream, he was visited by the apparition of a deceased man, who had been brought back to life by extraordinary circumstances. The face of this resurrected figure was none other than George Washington's, adorned in his general's uniform. Strikingly, Washington placed a black mark on Calhoun's right hand, explaining that it was the same mark by which Benedict Arnold was known in the afterlife, an unmistakable sign of treachery. Washington sternly cautioned Calhoun about the consequences of dissolving the Union, emphasizing that such an act would be considered traitorous and would torment him throughout his eternal existence. The eerie encounter left a deep impression on Calhoun, and it serves as a captivating anecdote that highlights the moral dilemmas and internal struggles that many influential figures faced during this tumultuous period in American history. 4. Champ Ferguson The vast majority of Southern men who supported the Confederate cause and wished to contribute had a straightforward option 
to enlist as soldiers and aid their efforts. However, Champ Ferguson opted for a different path. Instead of officially joining the Confederacy, he assembled a unit comprising like-minded friends and neighbors, placing himself as the sole commander. Following Ferguson's orders, this unit engaged in guerrilla warfare, launching attacks on various targets at their discretion. Their actions were ruthless and horrifying, as they targeted and killed civilians whom Ferguson believed were supportive of the Union. These attacks displayed a lack of discrimination, as they targeted not only able-bodied individuals but also the wounded, elderly, and even unsuspecting people asleep. Some unverified, yet plausible, accounts suggest that Ferguson occasionally engaged in desecrating the bodies of his victims after their demise, engaging in acts such as decapitation and mutilation. After the war, Ferguson's actions caught up with him, and he faced trial for his heinous crimes. During the trial, he openly admitted to personally killing over 100 men. As a result of his war crimes, he was sentenced to hang. Thank you for joining us to learn some of these brutal Civil War tales. Let us remember the sacrifices made and the enduring power of love amidst the grim realities of war. If you found this video meaningful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. History shapes our present and future. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.